the events program to us and, and we, we all loved it. He wrote all the songs and uh, it's about the youth growing the them all together and we will be at all the journey to
we're just going to sing, but this whole uh, bracket is supposed to be some, well, lots of numbers. We are mostly a sacred music choir, um, but we do have one or two numbers that we can sing, which are not particularly sacred. <laughs> Auntie Lord will let us sing our waro. <laughs> no, 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 you really want to. Yeah. 
there were some little notes on, on that period. <coughs> and uh, on the 14th of January 1977, Sister Susan M. Chitty left New Zealand to call Auckland International Airport for her mission in Sydney, Australia. She is the first proselyte missionary of the branch for seven years. 6th of February 1977, World Fast Day for all Latter-day Saints to alleviate suffering from blizzards, cold, drought and severe climates. The priesthood of the branch had covered all families with the message in Lunedale, Kipu, Otorohana and 50% of Te Kuiwi by Saturday. The remaining Te Kuiwi families were visited on the day. When he sent off March, Brother Matthew Lester Simons was filled out in a special sacrament memory as well as for his mission on the Philippines, Manila mission. 10th of April, 1977. Um, my father, Brother Raymond George Stockman, was set apart as the branch president of the Kuiwi by Brother E. W. B. Jones. Also, Brother Marshall, Glenn Marshall was the best, but the bailiff banks were wonderful job he and his wife had done for the people of the Kuiwi. 9th of September, a bar dance was held in the chapel where there were hay bales, I hear and was enjoyed by all those who attended, several inactive members and some investigators were present, a total of attendance of 53 was reported. A small admission fee from members was charged and about fifty dollars was raised for the world budget. <laughs> Little things that um, wonderful people left for us to reflect upon. And um, as I went through this book, it actually recorded all, a lot of people that were here and the callings that they had. Um, so at this time, I'd like to acknowledge the branch presidents. They presided in this area, and as I read out their names, um, you probably know many of them. Those that are here today, because we do have some uh, that are here today with us, um, President Kimberley has asked you to please stand. <coughs> 1961 to 1963 was Richard T. Marshall. 1963, William D. Kuhner. 1964 to 1966, Gerald T. Carlin. 1966 to 1969, John G. Hooper. 1969 to 1972, Raymond L. Lee. 1972 to 1977, Glenwood Marshall. 1977, to 1980-ish, Raymond George Spotman. Um, haven't got dates for the next ones, but they are Ellen King, Gary Turvey, Ken Williams, Calvin Dooney, and Wayne Kelch. From 1992 to 1993, Liz Clark, 1988 to 1991, Lloyd Perrot. 1991-1991, Doug Strutter. 1993-1996, Russell W. 1996-2000, Two thousand three, Sir Carter. Two thousand three to two thousand six, Philip G. Reynolds. Two thousand four to two thousand eight, Ken Williams. Two thousand 
from 2006 to 2012, Graham C. Ansley, and which I then took over. <laughs> um, I'm grateful, brothers and sisters, to the names that uh, we call them. They presided over this area in their time, and uh, with their wonderful councillors, and the many auxiliary leaders that served under them to do the work in this part of all the world. And without those pioneers, we wouldn't be here today with this um, beautiful facility. We also have uh, uh, Sister Chitty, Chitty that served a full-time mission. Laurie Anderson in 1964 served the Northwestern United States mission. Philippines. And our most recent run, 2013, Hiraman Beatman and the Run of the Mission. I am um, grateful, brothers and sisters, for uh, the many people that have passed through the branch. Most of you here today have had uh, something to do. This branch, the members of them, and um, the memories that are created from uh, the time that we've associated with them uh, will carry on throughout. I'm especially grateful for wonderful people that were great examples in my life growing up as a young man. My branch presidents and uh, state presidents and uh, the wonderful high councilmen that have served in uh, this area over the years that have uh, provided wonderful support to uh, all of the members here. And uh, I'm so grateful to them. I know that history has been created, it is being created right now and it will continue to be created by the uh, faithful and obedient examples that all of us uh, as we strive to look to our Father and His Son. I testify of these things and I wish you a wonderful evening. Um, Following President Kendall's dedication to call the call of being, there's a bank going in, there's plenty of time, and uh, then we can break bread and uh, discuss memories. And we also have our, our church history people here, Elder and Sister Olsen, and they're willing to um, interview uh, those that have memories that they want to share about uh, this approach. I live my testimony and God will stay with Jesus with my trust. And uh, this will continue to run for uh, And that uh, we have wonderful <coughs> leaders in our state. And uh, I say this in the name of Jesus Christ.
travel in our car and we've got cruise control. And as we travel, I'd set it to the speed limit and we'd travel along. And as we go around the corner, the car wouldn't slow down and just still do the speed limit around the corner. And my little son at the time would be sliding in the seat. And he go, Dad, uh, what's that thing called in the car when, when, it, when it doesn't slow down? I said, son, that's cruise control. That's pretty flash. He goes, Dad, I think that's more like cruise out of control. <laughs> you know those words became a great lesson to me. And I use it all the time. I, it's, every time I go somewhere and I'm uh, feeling myself go around the corner a bit too quick, I remember my son's <coughs> words. And it's a check for me. Am I in cruise control or am I in cruise out of control? Am I doing the Savior's work as I should do it? Or am I putting myself into a routine that's taking me away from where I need to be? So I appreciate my son and uh, the little lessons that he gave me. Um, I couldn't give my father that lesson because he didn't have Chris control of the country. But um, it's interesting how it flows on to the next generation. So I'm grateful to be here to see all um, those that, uh, everyone that, that is here has a history of this place and a future of this place. So it's, uh, it's been a wonderful day. Um, I have a testimony of the truthfulness of the gospel, that it is a source of happiness. Uh, having an understanding that families can be together forever is, is a great and wonderful blessing of comfort and healing. I have seen miracles happen here in Tikkuni as invitations have been extended, as lives have changed for the better, and as individuals have committed themselves to become disciples of Jesus Christ. It's amazing how a gospel, a gospel and a testimony of the Savior can change your life. And I know that to be true. And um, I'm grateful to be here today. And I leave you with this testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, amen. Bear with me. Uh, I now have the opportunity to, by the direction of the first presidency, to dedicate this building which is an honor, a very rare honor, that uh, doesn't know before upon a state prison. So bear with me. Um, I asked uh, the area prison, see what is the structure of doing this and uh, for dedicating the building and uh, hopefully I get it right. Um, I'm sure I will. So um, it's basically uh, a prayer to Heavenly Father which uh, through the priesthood a blessing is invoked upon uh, the building, the site, the grounds, the surrounding, and all that enter into this building. Um, let the Spirit do it. Our dear Heavenly Father, having authority through the power of the Holy Melchizedek Priesthood, under the direction of the First Presidency, I present before thee this wonderful building and dedicate it unto thee as a place in which the Kingdom can be built. Heavenly Father, we have been touched this afternoon and in preparation for this day with the wonderful spirit of singing and of friendship and love. We're grateful for those that have prepared the way, those that have given up their time and their hearts and have dedicated their lives unto thee in building the kingdom here in this part of the world. Father, as we present this new building unto thee, we ask thy spirit to be poured out upon all that are present this day. Heavenly Father, we especially ask that 
and we may lift those through their trials, and that our hearts also may be touched in the service that we offer. Father, we dedicate ourselves to Thee. We're grateful for this opportunity once again to be together for the beautiful music that has been given, the wonderful talents that have been shared, for those that have given of their time and substance, that as we meet together this day, has created a wonderful memory for us all. We love thee, Father. We pray that this may this building may be the place to prepare. That all may understand the pathway to return back to thee. And that together we may visit my holy house, the temple, to receive the ordinances necessary to return back to thee. May this be a place of great missionary work, that the kingdom may continue to grow, and that we may continue to be a part of this wonderful program and the growth in this area. Lovely Father, once again dedicate this building and ourselves unto thee, as our prayer we offer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Thank you. 